defensive coordinator. A lot of options when you have Marcus Peters and Marlon Humphrey at the corners. Mason Hill off the play fake. Fires across midfield. Completes to the Ravens 45. And that's Callaway taken down at the Ravens 35-yard line. And the Saints move into Ravens territory for the first time tonight. Trying to wink and dink. The dink and dunk yeah, on dink wink. Too many dunks. Too many dinks. <laughs> Taysom Hill on third down, flush from the pocket, has to throw it along the sideline. He's got a man. It's his favorite target, Marquez Powell Callaway, with a reception at the 10 yard line. As we take another look. Uh, yeah, it really couldn't. It just seems like Marcus Peters just let him get behind him. The Ravens will start the drive at their eight yard line. Off the play fake, McSorley from the end zone, goes complete, short game, that's his tight end, Josh Oliver. Or are you trying to find out who can handle some mental challenges early in the game? You know, it is a different situation. Five is a lot different than ten. And Trace McSorley is wrapped up on what looked like a design quarterback draw, it didn't work, and the Ravens will be forced to punt the ball away. So hopefully nothing serious there. We'll get an injury update as it becomes available. But sorely to throw on second down. He's tripped up and dropped back in the 40-yard line. And that's going to bring us to the end of the opening quarter. I like the marriage of young corners and young edge rushers. It's Tony Jones Jr. breaking through, and he's across the 45 out close to midfield with the biggest play from scrimmage tonight yet for the New Orleans Saints. Second down and 10. It's also why the Ravens have likely won 17 straight preseason games. Tony Jones, another big run. This time he's all the way down to the 35-yard line. He'll pick up 15 on the play. He sees great things for this young man. Second down and nine for the Saints in the grillmates red zone. And for the ground game, getting around the edge, Tony Jones with a five dive for the pylon. Waiting for the signal from the officials. Touchdown, Saints. So Tony Jones with quite the drive. He had a 28-yard run, a 15-yard run, and now a touchdown run as we take another look. Was number 30, Westry, or the linebacker on the edge? One of those two players has to secure the edge. Now, the coverage went to Westry on the inside receiver, so he could have been inside of, of the play. I can't read the number there, but anyway, inside that defensive end. I would guess that the defensive end was one responsible to save the edge on the backside because that allows Westry to continue to track his coverage, which is the tight end. So as that tight end goes inside, he's going to get sucked inside, but somebody's got to stay on the outside, backside. Yeah, I mean, Wink will make a... You get off so you, you keep fresh legs. It's those long drives that really wear guys down. Davis Winston on third down, throws across the middle. He's got a man at the 40-yard line out to the 48. That's Ty Montgomery, the veteran wide receiver on the reception. More than happy to share with their success with the parents that made it happen. That's all coming up in the second half tonight. Jameis Winston on first down, throws a straight down the middle. Inside the 25, down to the 20-yard line, and the Saints are knocking at the door as Jawan Johnson moves the chains with a 33-yard gain. Jameis Winston from under center. Looks to the right, fires to the back of the end zone. He's got a man for a touchdown. And coming down with a reception is little Jordan Humphrey, which I would imagine will make big Jordan happy. Break it down, coach. Let's see what we got. Yeah, like I said, you've got man to man. Now you got to be a little tighter down there on that. He was on him at the end, but he should be a little tighter getting across. Now the thing that could be happening is, like I said, the early part of the down, there was a post safety in the middle, and I don't know what pulled him out of the post because typically, if they're real close in grades and how you see them, you really don't want to let either one of them go. But if they're, but there's a distinct one and a distinct or a distinct two and three, then you can. And that is intercepted at the 40-yard line of the Saints. Trace McSorley picked off by Bryce Thompson. He was looking for Devin Duvernay along the sideline. On second and long, Ian Book throws complete to the 15 along the sideline. 30, 35, 40. And picking up a first down is Aesop Winston. And he saw the Ravens side, Justin Houston. Green pass complete. Jones across the 45, crosses midfield all the way down to the Ravens 43 before LJ Fort can track him down. In front of the lead, Huntley will throw. He's pressured, runs to his left. Ooh, and he is cut in half. Ball comes loose, and the same recover at the 10. So Tyler Huntley made a classic mistake. Where ties will end. Nobody's going for a tie. 
Possibly the final play before the two-minute warning. That is a completion out to the 45. to 50 in the Ravens' territory all the way down to the 35-yard line.